hello everyone in this video we will create dependent drop down list okay let's check it this is the demo that we will create in this video for example here I am selecting fruits so I will see in this area all related to the fruits see all fruits if I select vegetables so then I will see all the vegetables see just the vegetables so in this video we will create this dependent drop down list so let's get started so for this drop down list first of all we will come here to the sheet 2 in sheet 2 we, I will create two tables for the dependent drop down ok one for vegetables and one for uh, fruits fruits and vegetables so after creating let's write first of all the uh, fruits and vegetable So after that let's convert it to the table so to convert it to the table simply we will press ctrl t after pressing ctrl t my table has header select this and press ok let us convert it to the table same this one ctrl t my table has header press ok they are converted to the uh, tables let's assign name to this so, so to assign to name to this table so just move to the table design and here we will select let's for example fruits and also let's select this one to this one we will assign vegetables so after that assigning names so now oh, let's move to the sheet one and here in the category first of all we will add the fruit list here the category fruit or vegetable so for this just come here to the data tab then to the data tools then press this icon and come here to data validation and we want to create a list in the source the source you can write your uh, fruits categories also like fruit and vegetables in a separate table but we have just two o categories I will write them like this fruits and also vegetables ok so after that see the list has created we have these two lists so now let's write add this list here also whenever we press here vegetable or fruits so we should see the dependent uh, list here also so for that again we should move to the data validation data tab to the data validation and we want to create a list again and here what is the source for the source we will use indirect function the indirect function what it will do it will let's write indirect it will indirect as uh, for example we, specific, we wrote here um, the table name uh, fruits so it will move us to the fruits table ok which list we have created it will move us to there if we write here uh, vegetables it will move us to the uh, vegetable it means it will list them the vegetables so here now our um, category will be selected here in this cell ok we will start from this C7 we will write here, here C7 close the parenthesis indirect then in parenthesis c7 this is our category cell so press ok yeah ok so after that let's check it right, right now we don't have anything if we press this there is nothing but let's select uh, for example vegetable and let's come here see we have just the vegetables if we select the fruits it will list as the fruits see for all the cells we can create ok so now I will just show you the indirect so to use the indirect function let's write equal to first of all I will write the near table names ok let's remove it for example fruits just come here equal to indirect then specify this text list ok see we just saw the um, fruits if we change it to the uh, vegetables we will see the list of the vegetable so it is the work of indirect function so it was all about creating defending drop down list i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching